Hi all and uh, welcome back to a small help video. Today we are going to talk about Wi-Fi and network. All devices you have at your home needs Wi-Fi connection. It's your iPad, iPhone, TV or whatever device you have in your house. And those needs to have a perfect working and network connection to being able to work. So here are some uh, tips and tricks on how to solve some of those issues. First of all, I have an iPad right here. And the first thing I would recommend you to do is to do a restart of your device. So turn it off by sliding and turn it on again and go back in to your device and see if that have helped your problem. The next thing I would uh, recommend you to restart is actually your Wi-Fi router. I have an old router here that I will illustrate what I recommend you to do is just to unplug the power cable, take it out of your device, wait for 10 or 12 seconds, put the power cable into the device and it will restart. And after 30 to one minute, then uh, your device is up and running again and you will be able to connect to your router. That can help a lot of issues. Uh, routers can uh, get stuck in some kind of uh, mode that is not working uh, the best way for your devices and that can actually solve a lot of issues. So please restart your device and also restart your router, your network to make sure that is running as expected. Next thing to do is of course go into settings and the most important thing and the basic thing is to uh, try and turn off and turn on your Wi-Fi on your device and see if it is actually connecting to your Wi-Fi and is working again. Uh, another thing of course you can also do is to try and put your device into airplane mode. And over here, uh, just above the Wi-Fi section, we have the airplane mode. So you can turn on the airplane mode, wait for five seconds and turn it off again. And your network will connect to your Wi-Fi and that could also solve your problem. Next thing that the normal people would not uh, think about is to try and uh, turn off your Bluetooth. I sometimes see that Bluetooth could actually uh, be causing some issue for your Wi-Fi. Normally I would say it should be able to work that uh, both of those are turned on, but uh, I have seen uh, uh, old devices at least where you turn off the Bluetooth, stay off for the Bluetooth and Try and go into your Wi-Fi section again and turn that one on, off and on. And that actually sometimes make your Wi-Fi and network work again. So have a look at the Bluetooth and try and turn that one off. Next thing is the location service. That is also another thing that normal people would think about so go into privacy and here you have at the top the location services and in here you have different areas and at the bottom you have the system services and if you go into that one you get into a section where some of the basic services that your iPad is using uh, actually using the location service. And as you can see, we have a networking and a wireless. And uh, that one I would recommend you to try and turn off and uh, go back to your Wi-Fi section. Turn that one off and on again. And that can actually sometimes solve issues with your Wi-Fi. So, uh, Try and have a look at the location service and the location service, you find that under privacy. So uh, have a look at that and try and turn off the network and wireless part. 
So next thing up is to uh, go into your Wi-Fi section again. And in here we have this information icon beside the, the Wi-Fi that you are connected to. And uh, if you go in here, you get some uh, small uh, some more details about your network and uh, at the top you have the forget this network try and uh, click that one and say forget and now your wi-fi forgets your network and uh, try and reconnect to your network your wi-fi network and see if that could actually solve the issue that is always a good idea to try and forget your network. The last thing I have for you today is to have a look at the DNS. The DNS is used for looking up different IP addresses for the different services you use on the internet. So again, you go into your network that you are connected to. And as I said, down here, you have some different uh, details about your network and one of those are the DNS and here we have the configured DNS and as you can see it is set to automatic and my device have connected to my local DNS service. So uh, what I would recommend you to do is to try and click the manual one then you are actually able to manually configure your DNS and instead of the local one, I would recommend you to use one of Google's DNS servers. And one of those are called 8.8.8.8. After that, you click save up here. And uh, if you go back in here, now you can see that the 8.8.8.8 .8 are now the DNS that your Wi-Fi is using and uh, I have seen a lot of issues solved by this one. Sometimes the local DNS get uh, totally messed up and it's not working at all and uh, putting in a more reliable DNS server can actually help your Wi-Fi and network connection issues. So have a look at the manually DNS just go into your Wi-Fi wi section, go into your network, and at the bottom you have the DNS section, and try to configure it manually. So hopefully that can help solve your issue as well. So that was all I had for you today. These are some of the basic uh, debug uh, steps that you can do on your Wi-Fi and network. So hopefully you found a solution. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, just put it in the comments section. And uh, please recommend you to subscribe to my channel for the upcoming help videos. Have a nice day.